hiring people with disabilities represents a huge opportunity for businesses and employers need to do more to tap into that resource. Those are some of the thoughts of David Onley, Lieutenant Governor of Ontario. We talked earlier and I started by asking him if the business case for hiring people with disabilities is obvious. I think it's obvious but uh, to me, but I would say it's also counterintuitive uh, because just as an average person going along the street, you see someone with a disability and the first reaction is, hmm, I wonder what's wrong, I wonder what the difficulty is, and I guess they've got some real problems and you just kind of move on. And so it's, they're not top of mind. People with disabilities, people like myself, uh, are not top of mind when it comes to the hiring process. Um, so you think, well, there must be higher absenteeism. Um, there must be lower job retention rate. There must be more WSIB claims. There just must be. Um, but as a matter of fact, the various studies, where the, whether it was the Compass Research Survey done in 2008, whether it was the Deloitte Roundtable uh, papers that were taken right after going right across Canada back and forth, or whether it was the federal government's Rethinking Disability panel that was convened by the uh, finance minister in uh, uh, 2012, they've all come to the same conclusion that the exact opposite is true, that in point of fact, uh, absenteeism rates are lower, job retention rates are higher, usually much higher, um, and the number of WSIB claims are significantly lower, if at all. And there's a very simple reason for that. If you're a person like myself who uses a scooter or long leg braces to get around and you need to get something off the shelf, we don't look at that and say, I know what I'll do, I'll stand on the swivel chair and reach for that object. No, no, we, we trust an able-bodied person to do something like that and they get, they're the ones who get hurt. So it's, it's, it's counterintuitive, but uh, the studies prove, as do the real world examples, uh, that in point of fact, uh, people with disabilities are more productive and therefore make better employees. Interesting, there's a straight line between employee engagement and profitability. Every mm -hmm. business knows an engaged employee is a better one, better for business. People with disabilities are more engaged. Do you yes. have a thought about why that is? It's because of fear of losing the job, uh, point blank. Uh, former Premier McGuinty asked me about this shortly before leaving office. He said, you know, how much of this is because people are just flat out afraid? And I said, probably most of it. Yeah. I mean, I know it was my, it was certainly my thinking during my years in broadcasting uh, because I knew that I was in a, a well-paying job in a profession that I truly enjoyed. And I thought, gee, what happens if there's layoffs? Where, where would I go? What would I be able to do? Because I knew that the options were so very, very few. So people really are engaged. Give me some of the numbers. I know you're very passionate about this and have and spread the word on it. Mm -hmm. Just the sheer numbers of people who would work if they if they would be hired. Right now, some 800,000 Canadians uh, of adult age who want to work. Now that's very key. Want to work, but are not able to get jobs, um, are living on government assistance in the province of Ontario. That's ODSP. On Dis Ontario Disability Support Payments. That means $14,000 a year. That means a state of poverty. Now of that 800,000, there's some 340,000 who are recent college or university graduates. Again, who are able to work, want to work, but are not working because they can't get jobs. They can't get past that initial barrier of being hired. And they're the ones that are on government assistance. We see these stories, uh, and I know you know well this gentleman who owns these Tim Horton stores mm -hmm. and, and ha has a great many disabled employees. Uh, what does that, what should that story say to other business owners? It, it should say that um, there is, and I frankly believe, there is no labor shortage. Uh, I think that's a myth. I think there's an awareness shortage of the availability of some 800,000 people. For logging and mining, no, probably not. Uh, but for anything other than robustly physical jobs, uh, there's a, a large number of people who are out there and I think employee, employers are, are getting to the point, I know that this is the case because the panel members from the federal panel that, uh, that was commissioned by the federal government, it was supposed to close down some six weeks after they filed their report in January of last year. Then it was extended to three months, then extended to six and then to a year and it was all because of private sector demand for the panelists to come and to talk to their individual companies. So the companies are, it's, they're starting to figure it out yeah. that they really do need quali qualified workers. They can't find them, but they don't know where to look 
and they're not looking in terms of the disability community. When you speak to uh, business owners, mm -hmm. business leaders, what's the biggest hurdle to get them over? I think it is to get the information that we've just been discussing over the last five minutes or so and getting to the bottom line as I spoke to uh, the Empire Club just before Christmas and one of the great pillars of our economy came up to me afterwards and he said, oh, I get it. You do the right thing and make more money. And I said, yes, that's it exactly. You do the right thing and you make more money because you have higher productivity because the people that you're hiring are more productive. So that then becomes a matter of, well, where, how do we find out where these people are? And the answer really is, well, we start at the universities, we start at the community colleges, and then we start looking at the different agencies that represent people with the different ranges of disabilities. Start there and then watch what happens. All right, we're going to leave it there. We appreciate your time today. Thank you.